Hello, full-time algebra students, and I'm going briefly over a module four review. Uh, for many of you, you are either finishing up or in the middle of, so this is to kind of help you out and understand what you're supposed to be doing. It's an overview of the whole chapter. As usual, I would tell you that you should probably go to your lesson and go to the review test at the end of the module and copy down all your notes and or print them out, whichever one is easiest for you. Here are the notes on that review. Print out all these. This whole module is on exponential growth, which means everything here should be a curve, okay? And we learn about what an exponent function is. Exponential functions are given to us because the variable is in the exponent. Right? That's what makes it an exponential function. The variable is in the exponent. We do uh, operations with radicals. Radicals are the square root sign. Right? Um, we also work with uh, the base number, which is the number in front of the exponent, and that helps us determine whether we have exponential growth or decay. They talk about those as well. And hopefully you understand it revolves around the number one. And many times they're giving you the X's. You have to plug them into your formula or problem, find your Y's, then use your X's and Y's, your coordinates, to be able to calculate slope, which is something that can be a little tricky because it's time consuming. It's not something you should be able to get a quick answer to. Then we learned about sequences, geometric and arithmetic. What, the, what is a common difference? What is a common ratio? And what type of pattern an arithmetic sequence is and what type of pattern a geometric sequence is. All right. Uh, please feel free to reach out whenever you have any questions. This module does not have a tendency of being super, super difficult. It is a little confusing at times, but you have seen a lot of this material before. You're just now putting pictures with most of it. I will tell you that module five is the one that is a lot more complex. And then we go into the semester break. All right, guys, remember to reach out if you have any questions. I'm always here, 588-6448, extension 2302. Have a great day.